bringing families together with Big Star's Little Star, sponsored by Butlins. Hello, how you doing? Welcome back to Big Star's Little Star. I'm here in the green room with our three little stars, Benjamin, Charlie and Indio. Waiting nervously, of course, in the studio are our big stars, Faye, Ken and Jody. There they are. Now, before we start our next game, I thought I'd come up here and show you something amazing, guys. Watch this look. 10, 9, 8, 7, uh, um, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, get ready. One. What? Yeah. what? Weird, isn't it? But look, if I put that into this hand here and say jump, it will jump. How mad is that? But look, if we use two of these, right? Uh, we've got no. two here. Can you hold on to that one, Charlie? Just squeeze it really, really tight. Squeeze, 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 that's it. And I take this one, just say go. Go. Now, slowly open your hand there. <gasps> How did you do that? Now look, if we magic. you are magic. If we take what? two, one magic. and two, what? watch this. Squeeze both of them now. Squeeze them really tight. Imagine I've got one here. I make it disappear. That's the easy part. The hard part is to make appear. Put your hand in the middle of the table. You had two. You've now got. Have a look. Three. <laughs> look at that. Everyone, it is now time to start on. Do it with your best friend, um, your family, a random person on the street. If you do it at night, you might need a torch. I don't think my dad will be very good at it because he's very impatient. You might get really sick if you're on a boat doing it because you might be seasick. What are you talking about? <laughs> I have no idea whatsoever. <laughs> but worth a guess for two points. It is worth a guess. I would say um, jogging. Jogging. OK, <laughs> let's see if Ken sticks with that after he hears a little bit more from Charlie. You might take a hat. You also might take a packed lunch. So I've only done it once and I did it with a friend, but I lost my shoe while doing it. You can do it near a lake, at the seaside, at a river, near a puddle. Um, you probably wear, like, a leather jacket. And then you put loads of things on the jacket. Sometimes when you do it, you might catch other things, like boots. <laughs> Come on, Ken. Oh, I know. No, I know. And only because I remember I'm losing the shoe. Uh, it's fishing. For one point, you're correct. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was fishing. The only thing that's more boring than listening to Radio 2. <laughs> <laughs> right, Jody, you're up next. Here we go. What is Indio talking about here? Mummy has this in the evening. This is... It's is one of Mummy's favourite things. When she has this, it makes her smile. It's slippery and it's long. It looks like a worm. When you have it, you can get very messy. M Mummy will like this every day. <laughs> Mummy has this once a week. So, it's long and slippery, looks like a worm and it makes you smile. <laughs> Something's jumped to mind, but I mean, yeah, the long and slippery that I have it in the evening, it's definitely something to do with food, I'd say. Um, yeah, I think long, slippy, he gets absolutely filthy with it, so that would tick the messy. I'm going to go for spaghetti bolognese, probably. Spaghetti bolognese. But will you stick with that when you hear a little bit more? 
yellow. But people buy it from a shop. It costs 25 key. It comes from Italy. It has a funny name. If you eat lots of this, you'll get fat. When you have it, it goes all around your mouth. So it has a funny name. It's a bit rich coming from India. <laughs> <laughs> it's not um, a funny name. <laughs> That's a joke. Are you sticking with that? I think, yeah, it comes from Italy. Definitely. Straight in. Two points. Hey. Yes, it was spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> Very good indeed. Right, Faye, what is Benjamin talking about here? They are blue. They were probably made out of plastic, metal and, um, like a cushion. There is Velcro straps with a little lock. When Mummy's using them, she's always smiling. Mummy usually goes on her own. Mummy does it for about an hour, usually. So what do you think it is? OK, I, I picked up some clues in there with um, the metal and the Velcro strap. <laughs> I was thinking... Steps costumes, uh, <laughs> but it's not. It's. I'm sure he's thinking about my exercise class that he comes to and all the weights and the training circuit that I do. So what are you going to go for then, Faye? Um, my exercise class. OK, but will you stick with that after you hear a little bit more? They look like kind of a car, but with, but with a very high tower on the bottom. I need two of them to use them. The person who was who invented them was definitely addicted to wheels. I can use them in the house, but mainly in the kitchen. You can't go on a downhill bumpy road with them. Mummy does lots of tricks. She spins around and does crisscross. Mummy smells very sweaty and horrible when she's doing it. <laughs> so you do it on your own, it takes an hour and leaves you sweaty and horrible. You can't go downhill on a bumpy road. I know what it is. Go on. Roller skating. Roller skates. You're correct. Yes! <laughs> For one point, it was indeed roller skates. There we go. I can tell you at the end of that game, Jody is in the lead. Let's hear it for our big star. <laughs> Time for a break now, but first, can you guess which big star this little star grew up to become? Have a little guess and find out the answer after the break.